In this module, we learn about defining the OCR. First of all, what is the OCR and what does it stand for? In a rack environment, the OCR stands for Oracle Cluster Registry. This is the registry that contains all of the rack components. There are two disks that are important to every rack environment. They are the OCR disks and they are the voting disks, and they work hand in hand. First of all, we've talked about the voting disk. The voting disk goes out and it checks the locations and the availability of all nodes within the rack, and it looks for a specific heartbeat. If it cannot find the heartbeat, it will evict that specific node from the rack. It will read the OCR, which stands for the Oracle Cluster Registry, to determine the nodes that it needs to check a heartbeat for. The OCR is no different than a registry that you'd see like in a Windows environment. This basically just contains all of the components within the rack, the databases, the ASM, the listeners, the scan listeners, and of course the nodes. So first of all, let's take a look at some of the tools that we can use to help us determine the locations of the OCR. In an Oracle 11G R2 environment, Oracle has also added what is referred to as the OLR. The OLR stands for Oracle Local Registry. So we have a registry that is for the overall cluster, and then we have a registry that is local to the specific node that we're on. So we have the OLR, which is local to that specific node, and the OCR, which is common to all nodes within the rack. So first of all, let's make sure we're working in the right environment. So over here, I'm on node one, and let's set our environment to plus ASM. This is one of those scenarios that we need to make sure what environment that we're working in. To work with the OCR and OLR, we need to make sure that we're logged into the ASM or the grid infrastructure environment. So first of all, we want to do the dot space ORA ENV and set it to the specific ASM environment. So for example, on node one, we'd set it to plus ASM one, and on node two, we'd set it to something like plus ASM two. The tools that I can use, first of all, is we have a tool which is called OCR Check. Basically, it goes out and it checks for the existence of the OCR and tells us specifically where it's at. So we can see right here, we're in version three of the OCR. This is the total amount of disk space that's assigned to the OCR. Now, this is a specific file that is not very large. We can see how much is actually used, how much is available, what its current ID is, and then where does it reside. So it resides on the disk group plus rack one. So let's go ahead and go into ASM CMD. This is the command line shell for ASM that enables us to navigate within the ASM devices to take a look at the specific files that are within that specific disk group. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an LS and navigate to the disk group RCA1. So I'm just gonna do CD capital rack one. I'm then gonna to navigate to the alias, which is rack scan, which is just the name of the rack, then LS. And then we can see there's the OCR file. If I navigate to OCR file, which is basically going to be CD OCR file, we can see there's a registry file. And then this is just a binary file that contains all of the objects within the rack environment. So it's going to contain, again, the nodes, the databases, the listeners, ASM. So now I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here. And we can see that the OCR check utility is available for both nodes one and nodes two. So I'm gonna come over here to node two, and then in node two, I'm gonna make sure I'm in the right environment. So plus ASM two. When you set that environment, you should always set it to the appropriate environment that you wanna work at, which is determined if we take a look at the cat, Etsy, or a tab file. You can see here, we wanna set it to this value right here, which is plus ASM. It should only prompt us for one question, which would be the Oracle SID. If it ever comes back and it prompts us for another value, for example, the Oracle Home, that means we've entered in the value incorrectly. So what we want to do is, again, I'm going to go ahead here and type in ORA ENV. I'll type in plus ASM2, and you'll notice it will come back and it says the Oracle base is this particular Oracle base. It should always come back with that value. Again, if it comes back with anything else, then we've mistyped in probably this environment. So on node two, let me go ahead and type in OCR check, and it comes back and it gives me the same information that I had on node one. So this is gonna give me the generic location for the OCR, which is the Oracle cluster registry. But I also wanna see where is the local registry or the OLR. 
Now it's going to be important for us to know certain commands that we can issue from the Oracle account and certain commands that we can issue from the super user account or the root account in a Linux environment. Now, if I come over here and I type in OCR check, and I give it the dash local tab, it's going to error out. It says, wait a minute, I cannot find this information. And it gives me this error message of permission denied. That tells me I'm executing this current command as the wrong user. So I need to switch user to the super user account. So I'll type in SU, which stands for switch user, space dash, and then just hit return. Then it's going to prompt me for the particular operating system password for the root account. In my particular case, it's going to be Oracle. Also, I need to make sure that I have the appropriate environment set for this account as well. So I'm going to do the dot space ORA ENV, and I'm going to say plus ASM2. Let me go through that again and put in the wrong value so you can see what I'm talking about. If I put in the wrong value, you can see that it's going to prompt me for the Oracle home. That tells me I've entered in something incorrectly. So very simple, I just hit return and I come back to the pound sign. So now let me issue that dot ORA ENV again. It's actually dot space ORA ENV and I say plus ASM2. Now I have to make sure that it's the two because it's associated to node two in the rack environment. If I come over here on node one and we switch users to root, and then I set the ORA ENV and go to plus ASM1. Now I can go ahead and issue the OCR check command with a dash local flag. And that's going to tell me the local location of the OLR. Again, the OLR stands for Oracle Local Registry. So we'll type in OCR check and give it the dash local flag. If we give us the dash local flag, it will say that the OLR, the Oracle Local Registry, is located under user1 app 11.2.0 grid cdata rack1.olr. And this should be the same for both nodes. So if I come over here to node 2, and I issue the same command, OCR check dash local, you can see that it's in the exact same directory structure. Now I can navigate to that specific directory, and I go to C data, and then we can see the file rack2.olr. If we open this up, do a VI on it, it's a binary file, and it's going to give us a lot of garbage, and ultimately we can't see it here because, again, it is going to be that binary file. So let me go ahead and get out of this. And let's go ahead and open up another terminal session and switch back to the Oracle user, set my environment variable, plus ASM2, and let's navigate to the environment variable Oracle Home, go to C data. Now, if I just type in a more on that file, again, it's going to be hard for us to see anything, but you see all this garbage in here, and that just proves to us that it's a binary file. So let me do Control C to get out of it. Also, if we go to the ETC, or commonly referred to as the Etsy directory, and then if we navigate to the Oracle directory underneath there, so if I do a PWD, I'm under slash ETC slash Oracle. By the way, PWD stands for present working directory. And we can see we have files of OCR.loc and OLR.loc. And if I do a more on the OCR.loc, it tells us that the OCR config file is located on this disk group, and it is not a local only file. Now, if I take a look at the VI on the OLR.loc, that's going to tell us where the local file is. So we have two main disks, and these are actually referred to as disks, even though behind the scenes are actually files, that are very, very important to our rack environment. Now, a couple of things here that come into play. First of all, both of these have to reside on an ASM disk group. Best practice is to create a separate disk group strictly for the OCR and the voting disks. In prior versions of Oracle, we'd have a separate destination for the voting disk and a separate destination for the OCR disk. In Oracle 11 GR2, we will put both of those in the same disk group. Typically, it would be in something like Rack 1 or Rack 2 or whatever the name of the disk group that you want to place it in. So let me go ahead and quit out of here. We have the OCR, we have the voting disk. The voting disk is used to determine the heartbeat, and the OCR disk is going to be used to contain all of the components within our Oracle 11 G R2 Rack environments. This registry, again, is no different than what we'd see in the Windows registry, or be very similar to what you would see like in a Windows registry. It's not going to be the same as a Windows registry. It is the registry for the rack.